love badminton. I love badminton. I love badminton. I love badminton. Hi, welcome to badmintonplanet.com. In this video, I'm going to show you the rules of badminton singles. Hopefully, you are able to understand the rules quickly by watching the animation I've created. First, let me explain the scoring system for badminton singles. A badminton singles is a match consists of the best of three games of 21 points. Every time there's a serve, there's a point score. The side winning a rally adds a point to its score. At 20 all, the side which gains a 2 point lead first wins the game. At 29 all, the side scoring the 30th point wins that game. The side winning a game serve first in the next game. Here's a quick summary of the rules of badminton singles. When the score is 0-0, zero, zero, or when the server's score is an even number, such as 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on, the server serves from the right service court, as shown in the area highlighted with the white squares. In addition, the server has to serve to the opponent at the diagonal direction. The server can't serve to the opponent directly opposite from the server. When the server's score is an odd number, such as 1, 3, 5, 7, and so on, the server serves from the left service court as shown in the area highlighted with the white squares. Again, the server has to serve to the opponent at the diagonal direction. The server will lose a point if he or she serves to the opponent directly opposite from him or her. If the server wins a rally, the server scores a point and then serves again from the alternate service court. If the receiver wins a rally, the receiver scores a point and becomes the new server. As I mentioned earlier, left service court if the score is odd and right service court if the score is even. When you serve, or as I call it, the first hit, you have to make sure your shuttlecock goes beyond the short service line. The short service lines are indicated by the blue arrows in the video. Also, on the first hit, your shuttlecock will consider out of bound if it lands beyond the single sideline as indicated by the orange arrows or it lands beyond the baseline as pointed by the black arrows in the video. However, after the first hit, on the second hit or other following hits, the shuttlecock can land anywhere on the court as long as it doesn't land beyond the singles, sideline, and baseline. As you can see on the video, after the first hit, the red shaded region for the short service line disappeared, and you are allowed to hit the shuttlecock to that region for the rest of the rally. Well, at this point, I'm pretty much explained the rules for badminton singles. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Next, I would like to show you a mock Babina Singles Tournament between the red team and blue team from the animation that I've created. Before we start the mock tournament, let's name the player from the red team as Dan, D-A-N, Dan. And we're gonna name the player from the blue team as Lee, L-E-E, -E, Lee. Okay, let's assume Dan has won the toss and decided to serve. The score now is 0-0 zero, zero, and Dan will serve from the right service court because it is even number. If the score is even number, you have to serve from the right service court. Okay, on this rally, the blue team player, which is Lee, failed to return a hit from Dan and Dan scored one point. 
it is now a 1-0. Since Dunn just won a point, he's gonna change to the left service court and continue to serve. Lee, on the other hand, will have to change the service court also so that he can return the serve from Dunn. Let's assume Dunn wins this rally. So it's 2 for Dunn and Lee is still 0. Now Dunn will continue to serve but he will switch to the right service court because the, his score is 2 which is an even number. And after he serves, as we can see from the animation, Lee wins a point from the, this serve. How come? Remember, in singles, if the shuttlecock lands outside of singles sideline, as I mentioned earlier, it is considered out of bound. And this will cause the player who hits the shuttlecock out of bound one point. So now it's Lee's turn to serve because he just uh, won a point. And he needs to serve from the left service court because his score is 1, which is an odd number. And Dan will move to the left service court as well so that he can return the serve from Lee. Lee serves, but instead of serving diagonally, he serves to the opponent's side directly opposite from him. Remember, when you serve, you should serve to the receiver who stands in the diagonal service court. You will lose a point if you serve to the side directly opposite from you. The score now is 3 for Dan and 1 for Lee. The right to serve goes back to Dan because he just won a point. Since the score is 3, Dan will serve from the left service court and Lee will move to the left service court to get ready to receive Dan's serve. Dan serves but he hit the shuttlecock a little bit too weak and the shuttlecock lands before the short service line. Lee won a point from the mistake of Dan. As I said earlier, when you serve, or as I call it, the first hit, the shuttlecock has to land beyond the short service line. The shuttlecock can't land anywhere on the red shaded regions as shown in the video for the serve. So the score now is 3 for Dunn and 2 for Lee. Lee gets the, the right to serve. He serves from the right service court since his score is 2, which is an even number. After a long rally, Dunn failed to return a smash from Lee and the score now is 3-3. Three, three. By now, I hope you have a clear idea on how to play badminton singles. Alright, let's recap on the rules of badminton singles. Here's the scoring system of badminton singles. A. It is a match consists of the best of 3 games of 21 points. B. Every time there's a serve, there's a point score. C. The side winning a rally adds a point to its score. D. At 20 all, the side which gains a 2 point lead first wins that game. E. At 29 all, the side scoring the 30th point wins that game. F. The side winning a game serves first in the next game. Here are the quick summary of the rules for badminton singles. A. At the beginning of the game, when the score is 0 0 and when the server's score is even, the server serves from the right service court. When the server's score is odd, the server serves from the left service court. If the server wins a rally, the server scores a point and then serves again from the alternate service court. If the receiver wins a rally, the receiver scores a point and becomes the new server. They serve from the appropriate service court. Left if the score is odd and the right if the score is even. Lastly, I hope you like the video and have a lot of fun playing badminton. Goodbye.